Hello, you're welcome. I'm very happy and indeed very excited to observe you in this video. I am Dr. Lion Kakwanle. I am a researcher. I'm a lecturer in the university. I'm a life coach. I'm a public speaker. On this channel, I do a number of stuff. But all these stuff I do, you can cluster them into four. Sociology, research, relationship, and migration. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? I think you have to subscribe to be able to enjoy wonderful contents. Kindly subscribe, comment, like, and share. And if you have subscribed previously, thank you very much for staying tuned. In this video, I want to share very unique, very important information in context of migration. And this video is very important against different things I hear people say, or different things I hear people do on account of migration. And that's why I do this content on migration, so that I can empower people. And I've, I have many videos on this channel of migration, how necessary is it to migrate, how to avoid migrating into modern slavery, how to migrate abroad without using agents, how to win scholarship and study abroad. So many videos on migration you can watch. So in this video, I'll be talking about best countries in Europe or Schengen to migrate to. This video is in, charge, in, in terms of he used the Schengen area in terms of migration. I see many people now looking towards Europe, especially when UK has, start, has started rolling out policies to discourage people from coming with their families. So Canada is still opening up. Australia is there. I've done video on Australia. I've done video on Canada. I've done video on UK. So I decided to do this video on the EU because a lot of my subscribers and my followers on my social media handle keep asking me some questions. So, so I want to I want to address this issue of migrating into the EU or the Schengen area so that you can learn some even as that corridor is also opening up. So I want to give you a list of best countries if you are considering Europe. Or the Schengen area because people say okay once you enter one country in Schengen you can move from there to another one as though it's so easy though the Schengen is treated as a as a single uh, corridor especially in terms of migration so you are allowed and you are stamped in into a country and once you enter in corridor you can begin to move from there but it's not so easy it's not as simple as people say especially when agents are deceiving people as though it's just one country that wants to have, no, it's EU, it's Schengen, but they still have their own unique policies on it, on, and their own cultural differences, different policies on account of even migration and living in those countries. So you have to be careful. So Europe is one, but essentially not one. They still have their uniqueness, so you have to be aware. And you have to be careful of agents just and not telling you what to do, or even people that are there. So you have to do your homework very well. And so I'm very happy you are watching this video. It's part of your doing your homework. But what are these what, which countries are these countries in terms of migration? You know, and these countries have decided to to present them not necessarily in the order of importance, uh, but I've considered their economic opportunities. I've considered their um, healthcare system. I've considered their, you know the 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 cultural uh, you know acceptability integration opportunities education even climate to some extent so these are the countries you have to consider number one is portugal portugal is very good though i see some people are not looking towards this direction you know Poliza, portugal has little crime rate good social cohesion good health care the economy is okay and xenophobic tendencies uh, are very little, if at all, existent in, in Portugal. So, though there are some other things you have to consider, but Portugal is a very good country if you want to be considering Europe. Then you got Germany. Germany, you know, is the strongest economy in the EU. So, in terms of economy, is the number one. And uh, Germany, you know, there are opportunities, especially if you are an expert technologically. Though the language is there, but you can easily learn the language if you go to language school. So, and the culture is rich, and uh, Germany is used to immigrants because they've been receiving immigrants even before the before the EU. So, immigrant, I mean, Germany is good. You may consider Germany. Spain is also good. 
on the account of the, also the immigrants, they are used to immigrants and opportunities are there. So Spain is also good. Then Luxembourg, Luxembourg is also very good. You can consider Luxembourg, though not so popular among so many, but Luxembourg is fine. Finland is also very good. You can consider Finland. Uh, opportunities are there. I know quite a number of people in Finland, rich economy, simple society, accommodating in their own right. So Finland is also good. Iceland, very good. You can consider Iceland too. Opportunities are there and they, they are not experiencing influx of migrants which tend to shock opportunity space and create some un, un, I mean, sensitive tendencies in those communities. So you see find Iceland, Finland very good. Then Ireland. Oh, I have people in Ireland also and the feedback has been very good. If I know a lot of people who relocated from the United Kingdom to Ireland because it's simple, more simple. It's a simpler community, more homogeneous community, not so expansive, but welcoming, you know, to immigrants. So Ireland is good. So though not so common, especially if you are expats, if you are students, op uh, opportunity opportunities are there. And so you can put the Netherlands, uh, you know, very good. Netherlands, you know, many people have been going to Netherlands for so long and number 20 is out there and it's not hostile and you have easy movements, you know, if you, have, if you stay in Netherlands, you can access some other places. So this video just will give you wide options. You know, many people, the problem I have with people who want to migrate or locate abroad is that everybody, everybody faces the same direction. You see, if people want to go towards the left, everybody goes to the left. If you want to go to the right, everybody goes to the right. They want to go this way, they just face this way as if they are traveling the same direction. Yet migration is very selective. So look at different areas. It doesn't matter. Just because a destination is so popular does not mean everybody has to go there. So just open your option. These places I'm mentioning, these are places I've been a number of them. And also I have people there that I relate with as regularly as possible. So Ireland is also good. Netherlands, very good. Switzerland, oh, very nice place. The last time I was in Switzerland, very fantastic. So Cancuza, Switzerland, oh, very, you know, very simple community, but welcoming. Nobody bothers anybody. No xenophobia. And you, you live your life as calmly as possible. A good place to train children also, if you are considering family. So Switzerland is a very nice place, nearest destination. Norway, oh, nice place. Norway is very fine. You know, a number of my people are there and doing very well. They just do their own thing as calmly as possible and they are meeting their, their goals for migration. Sweden is also very nice. So you can also consider Sweden. So as you're planning to migrate, consider some of these routes, some of these places and so as you go enjoy these places, in terms of the economy, the cultural cohesion, the welcoming, to the nature of the places to migrant, and relatively simple society. And these places, they are very good to, to raise family. If you are a family person, you want to raise your families quietly, and you want to take opportunities. So these places are very fun. I see many videos on Lithuania. Lithuania is opening up. You know, many videos on YouTube advertising Lutania. Please be very guided. I'm not saying Lutania is not good, but be very careful. Look at the times very well. When countries begin to open up like that, you know, people tend to rush to places without thinking very carefully. I'll do another video on countries you have to be aware of, even in the EU corridor, in Schengen. So, actually, this video is very important because many agents have pushed many people to their fall. Just tell them it's Schengen, is it you want to enter, you just keep living your life. It's not so direct, not so easy, like I said. So I'll drop another video on some countries you have to be aware of in the EU or the Schengen area. So for please, Lithuania. Well, if I come up with something I will share, but it's trending now, but please to be very be very careful and be aware of again. Until I see you in my next video, kindly subscribe to the channel, tell others and share this content as widely as possible. Thank you very much.